Now let's talk about flip tank to create an A filled water tank. So let's create an A jump to node and dive inside. And in here, let's add an A particle fluid tank. Okay. So let's add that. So the particle fluid tank will add the particles in a box. Okay. So here onto the particle fluid tank we can specify the water level and we can specify the particle separation to generate more or less particles and in here we can set the tank size okay and let's increase the flip tank size okay and also let's increase the z size as well and let's make this flip tank sit onto the floor so let's copy this y size okay copy parameter and onto the center y let's in here say paste relative reference okay so now we are using the same size as the as the y size so after that let's multiply by this 0 0.5 to get the half value of the y okay so now if we change the y size our flip tank will sit onto the floor okay so let's increase the y size and also let's increase the water level okay so let's suggest the water level to have more particles and let's also adjust its x size okay and after that let's create an a top network so in here let's add an a top network and let's connect this into the first input and dive inside the top net and in here let's add an a flip solver and let's connect this into the output and in here let's add an a flip object flip object and let's connect this here onto the flip object let's initialize this with our particle fluid tank okay so here onto the initial data let's go into the saw path and let's select our particle fluid tank hit accept and here as you can see our tank has not been imported and that is because the input type is set to surface of so here the flip object is expecting an a surface geometry okay so let's change this to particle field okay so now here as you can see we have our particles imported so let's go into the guides and on to the particles tab of the guide and change the visualization to particles okay and now let's hit play and let's add any gravity force okay in here let's create any gravity force and let's connect this and now hit play and here as you can see our flip tank particles are falling due to the gravity okay and here we have the domain so let's go into the flip solver and onto the volume motion so let's link this domain size with our flip tank okay so here onto the particle fluid tank let's copy this parameter copy parameter and let's dive inside and in here let's add an a paste relative reference okay so now we have the exact same size domain so here on to the y size let's delete this channel okay so we will set the y size on our own inside of the flip solver so let's increase the y size and let's also copy this parameter and on to the center paste relative reference and for this reference let's multiply by this 0.5 okay so now it will sit perfectly onto the floor let's change the visualizer guide okay 
so now let's hit play so our particles are getting deleted so let's go into the flip object and check the closed boundaries and hit play and now here as you can see our particles our particles are colliding with the boundaries so we need to also link the particle separation so let's copy this parameter and let's go into the particle fluid tank and in here let's paste this into this particle separation so let's in here set paste relative reference okay so now we are generating more particles so maybe let's lower this down to 0 0.15 maybe and let's check okay so now our flip tank is working fine so in here let's add some collision geometry okay so for that let's create an a rock geometry in here so let's add an a sphere and set the display flag to sphere and let's change this to polygons and increase the frequency okay and let's also increase the size of our sphere and let's add an, a mountain node and let's connect that into the mountain node so let's go into the mountain node parameters and let's adjust the amplitude and also let's adjust the element size and also let's go into the sphere and let's increase its x size okay and here on to the mountain node let's change the noise type to worldly cellular okay so this will create an a rock like noise and here as you can see so let's go back and let's increase the frequency to add more divisions okay so let's in here let's reduce the size okay so that is looking more like a rock so now let's transform this rock up so let's add an a transform node or maybe let's add an a copy transform node so in here let's add an a copy and transform and let's connect this and in here we are generating two copies in here let's add the translation in the y as well as add the translation in the x okay and maybe let's generate these three copies and let's add an a transform node at the end and let's connect that and here onto the this transform node let's push this rock geometry up okay and let's template our particle fluid tank and here as you can see we have very big rock sizes so let's go into the sphere and let's adjust the uniform scale okay so the size of three may be fine so now let's go into the copy and transform node and in here let's adjust the translation in the x translation as well adjust it more to bring all of these rocks a bit closer okay and after that onto this transform node let's make this one into these sides make this side even further okay and now let's add an assemble node to create an pack geometry so let's connect that and here on to the assemble let's check the create pack primitive okay so now we have three pack primitives so now let's connect this into the second input of our dotnet and let's dive inside and in here let's create an a rpt packed object and an a rigid body solver 
so let's connect this into the packed object and onto the rbd packed object let's select the geometry source so it's set to swap let's use the second context geometry okay and let's add an a merge in here and let's merge this with our flip solver and onto the merge let's change the effector relationship to mutual and let's connect the gravity at the last okay and now let's hit play and here as you can see we have these rock falling and these rocks are falling very slow so we may need to adjust the position of these rocks and here they are touching the particles fluid okay and here as you can see the particles fluid velocity is also affecting the rocks so let's go into the rbd packed object and in here we we can set this activation attribute okay so let's go back and in here let's add an uh, attribute wrangle okay and let's connect this and onto this wrangle let's create an uh, attribute so let's create the attribute active so in here the active is an integer attribute so i and the attribute name which is the active so let's set this to zero okay so now it means that our geometry is not an active object so if i hit play here as you can see the forces are not affecting the rocks okay so what we can do we can dive inside the dop net and here onto the rpd object let's give him an initial velocity so let's add an a downward velocity of negative 10 maybe and let's check we need to go back onto the first frame and let's check okay so because they are not active so these initial velocities are not working okay so let's zero this out so what we can do we can go into the merge and let's select this one onto the up okay so we are reorganizing the node graph into the merge so here onto the merge the effector relationship is set to mutual so let's change this to left input affects the right input okay and let's go back and in here let's disable the attribute wrangle so now we have these active rigid bodies and let's check okay so now here as you can see these rocks are now affecting the particles but the particles are not affecting these rocks so in here let's add an a ground plane for the collision so let's add an a ground plane in here and let's add an a merge and let's merge the ground plane down here and onto the this one let's change the effector relationship to mutual okay and now let's check so the rocks won't go into infinity so now they will collide with the ground plane okay so maybe let's go back and let's increase the water level so let's go into the geometry level and in here we have the particle fluid tank so let's increase the water level as well as y size let's increase the water level even more and now let's set the display flag to top net and let's see the result so here we have these rocks falling down okay and they are affecting the particles so let's go into the rigid body solver sorry onto the rpd object let's give him 
initial velocity okay so now they are an active rbd objects so now this initial velocity will work so let's give him an initial velocity of negative 10 maybe and let's check okay so now here as you can see these are falling down fast and we have an a splash in the particles so maybe let's increase this velocity even more so let's change this to negative 25 maybe to create an a much higher impact onto our particles okay and now here as you can see we have an a huge collision and they are escaping these boundaries okay because we have the higher velocity so they are sliding all over onto the floor these rock geometry okay and let's simulate this few frame and now let's go back onto the first frame and let's view the result okay so here we have the big splash so here onto the flip solver you can also use the particles pop forces to drive the flip particle simulation so in here let's remove this merge okay for now and let's remove this from here as well and let's connect this into the gravity and let's connect this into the out okay so let's go back and maybe let's adjust the water level so here onto the particle fluid tank let's lower down the water level to three units okay and now let's dive inside the top net and in here let's add an a pop access force okay and let's connect this into the particle velocity and here onto the pop access force let's increase the radius as well as the height okay so let's hit play so here we have the guide so let's go into the pop axis and let's move the axis force radius this fall of up sphere okay and maybe let's place this around here and let's increase the radius as well as the height okay and let's also change the center to move him up okay and let's hit play okay so here as you can see the particles are rotating around the axis so here onto the pop axis force let's go into the speed so here we have the orbit speed let's change the orbit speed to 5 to create an, a more dramatic force okay so here as you can see the pop axis force is affecting the flip particle simulation so in here let's increase the lift speed so let's change this one to 5 as well as the suction speed let's change this to 5 and let's see the result okay so the particles are now lifting up and they are rotating around the axis and here as you can see we have an a very cool water simulation okay so let's check and maybe let's go into the shape tab and let's change the center to bring the center down and let's check again okay so that's we have the water fountain okay so maybe let's lower down the lift speed let's change this to 2 orbit speed to 2 as well as the section speed to 2 and let's check again okay so particles are now lifting up and they are rotating around the axis 
and maybe let's increase the lift speed let's change this to 4 and check again okay so now they are lifting upward or particles and now they are after they reaching the limit of the ship now they are coming down due to the gravity okay so in here let's add an a pop force node to add an a wind so here we have the pop force node and let's merge this with the access force to use both of these forces so let's connect this and connect this and here on to the pop force let's increase the noise amplitude okay let's change this to 5 and hit play so here as you can see we have the disturbance in the particles so maybe let's adjust the soil size let's change this to 3 and let's check so now we have these bigger swirls okay and here we have the noise into the fountain okay so now it is not as smooth as it was before so maybe let's adjust the visualization so let's go into the flip object and onto the particle visualization let's increase the velocity range so let's increase the range okay and now let's view the result okay so that's the particle flip tank okay so you can create this field fluid tank effect with the particle flip tank okay so maybe let's enable the collider in here as well so let's connect this into there let's merge this and in here let's organize the ports because we have the left input effect the right inputs okay so it must be in the correct order and let's also add the ground plane in here as well let's add this and this one is set to mutual so this doesn't matter okay so now let's check okay so now we have these stones and we have the wind velocity as well as we have the particle forces particle axis forces okay so that's how you can set up the particle flip tank okay so let's stop this here and let's rewind and let's play it again and see the result okay